Hello there everyone, and welcome to my 100% playthrough of Ashes 2063 on Apocalypse. This is DAM1, Those Damn Raiders. Alright. Time to kill those raiders, those damn raiders. Yes. First secret map of two, we got 70 kills to get, 14 more pieces of junk, but that could change. And one secret, only one. Well, let's not waste any time, shall we? Ooh, there's us again. Damn, we're looking good. Hmm. Hey, guys, would be a real shame if somebody were to, uh... <laughs> Gross. That's always a nice little trick to play on them. Now, in this area, be careful. There's going to be a good few vultures. Now, I keep forgetting how many are on that left side. Now, the ones on the right side can't come closer to you because that door is locked. And I'll be using the Glock a lot in this map because there's a lot of raiders that use it, so... Might as well, know what I mean? Okay, I think everyone's dead. Go ahead and reload everything. This... Oop, not this one. This door here leads to a dead end, which just contains more raiders. They reveal themselves after you hit that switch. Which also opens that door. But there are no enemies hiding behind that door, thankfully. And this here is bulletproof glass. That's where we're going next. And that part can be a little annoying. But we'll get there. For now, let us use the Glock. Actually, you know what? This bad boy's got some decent range. Let's put it to good use. There's one left. There he is. What? You want some? Yeah, that's what I thought. Punk. But yeah, as I said, dead end. Nothing of interest in here. Just more keels. Now we get to head down to this main area here. That little... Like, I don't know what that is. A tub of some kind. That is your one and only secret. There's like three or four pieces of junk in there, but... Oh, oh, come on. Stupid auto-aim. This whole room is full of bad guys up there on that ledge. Now, this angling is not the most agreeable. Yeah. Now, what I like to try to do is get all the way over here and then get over here. Now, if there's shotgunners up there, which there are, they might plug you once or twice. Partially, not fully. But when you get over here, the enemy's pathfinding will actually make them come down the stairs towards you. When you run out of ammo, quickly swap. Remember, always faster than reloading. Okay, I want to make sure I have enough time to uh, reload my stuff. Come on. There we go. That's not everybody. I hear... Yeah, there's a couple of shotgunners right up there. Come on. I ain't afraid of no shotguns. Get down here. That's right. And the auto-aim can also... Well, I was not really auto-aiming. But you can aim up, aim up at them, too. Now, I think that may actually be everyone. This next part is the most unsafe part. You want to run up the stairs, and if there's anyone left alive, they will hit you. But I think that was actually everyone. There is always, always at least one survivor up here. But this time I actually made it work out in my favor. Lovely. And this door just leads back to here. A little shortcut. Go ahead and grab some goodies. And, before I forget, the secret. Four pieces of junk. Alright. And we've made a... Uh, I forgot to say, when we sold that radio to Smiley, we got a hundred scrap back, so we <laughs> made back half the money that we spent on that purge stem from the Bagman. And then once we beat Fortune, which, a spoiler alert, this isn't really a contest. You will always beat Fortune, as far as I know. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm 
pretty sure Fortune can never win this contest. And then when you beat her, you'll get her shotgun, and I think you also get... I think you also get $100, but I can't remember. But we're collecting plenty of scrap here to get some money, so... Money is not really an issue. Alright. Yes, yeah, so when you cross that threshold over there, that leads into a different room, this door opens. And you do not... Oh boy. You do not want to get sandwiched in here. That would be very bad. And don't let the size of this room fool you. There's a lot of raiders in here. They are damn raiders, after all. But we have a Glock. I think we'll be fine. And a couple of boxes with a cricket and nothing else. All right. Um, let's see. I think uh, nothing else to do here. Well, let me let me scrounge around one more time. I think we're full on shotgun ammo. Yeah, we are. And 45 Colt. All right, so now we're in that electrified room or area that the uh, <laughs> that we zap those poor raiders in. And you want to be careful not to touch the water. It will not instantly kill you, but whoa, it will damage you. It damaged me once. I don't know by how much, but I'm not going to take that risk. Just throw the switch and it turns it right off. And now we can also go this way to get some junk, a bronze staff key, and a first aid kit. Which we are now halfway full on. Aren't we lucky? So now we need to go back to... <laughs> so technically it's a bronze key door, but uh, that looks a lot more red to me. But... For this map's sake, it is bronze. Now there's going to be some pit fiends up there. There's some raiders through that little uh, wind graded window. We're going to leave them all alive for the time being. And quickly climb up here. Throw this switch. And we'll just do some counter sniping. Oh. I sidestepped right into that. That was my own fault. And now we'll just bombard them. Man, the Glock is awesome. Both in this mod and real life. But, go ahead and reload everything as per usual. And look at that. The blue access car, we need to go down that elevator. And another first aid kit. This ladder leads to nowhere. It's a dead end. And now we're up here with those bug dogs. Guess what that means? That's right. Dead bug dogs. Alright, four items, 11 kills. I believe that's exactly what we need at this point. So now we'll just go back down through here. We're going to keep the Glock out for this last part. 11 more raiders to go. And they are all down here. You know what? No need for stealth. We'll just go state-of-the-art bang-bang. And everyone else is in here. Now, seven of the vultures saw you and heard you. There's actually two hiding just around that generator. Not on the stairs, though. That somehow are deaf to all this going on. They don't hear your gunfire. They have to actually see you to become aggroed. Not sure how that works. Just doom engine weirdness. Whoa, that was close. But before we take care of them... Take care of those two guys, and then... These two guys. Awesome. And three pieces of junk in a first aid kit, and we are finished. Well, looks like I win, Miss Fortune. Just turn the damn release valve. And there's Miss Fortune right there. Let's see what she has to say. Excellent, you survived. I'll admit, I wasn't sure that you would. And it looks like I won. Indeed, I am surprised. Hope you haven't left a trail of surprise thugs in your wake running right past them. 
Still, nothing I cannot handle. So, you owe me a shotgun. Which, uh, I need no ammo for, so, eh, whatever. She hands you a beat-up old pump gun. The darkened metal finish glows dully in the light, but you can see the barrel and receiver have been kept scrupulously clean. Enjoy her. She's been through a lot with me. Never let me down. I'm sure she'll be useful. Thanks. She hands you a bag of scrap. Well then. Oh, clearly. Well then. I'll leave it to the guard captain to clean up the mess. It appears they have already taken the town. The last few survivors have already fled into the desert. They won't last long, of course. What will happen to this place now? Same as it was before, but now we can better prepare. I've heard rumors of an army over the hills to the west. We've lost contact with a few towns. Would rather not be dealing with these idiots at the same time. Where are you from, Fortune? Actually, you know what? No. What if Barrett comes back? He's going to be pissed. He won't. The city leaves few survivors. And even if he lives, he'll not have the manpower to take the town again. I know his type. He'd rather die than accept defeat. Where are you from, Fortune? I used to run with a gang, not far from here. There was a crash. My vehicle was wrecked. The others left me for dead. I found my way here. I use my skills for myself now. Although, the town does see the benefits. Well, I guess I'll be going. Of course. Head out the door behind me. We've made sure your bike is waiting for you on the road. You might want to get going now. There's a big mess to deal with, and I don't think you want to stick around for this. Good luck out there, scavenger. Good luck to you, Miss Fortune. And simply use the door behind her. And you're done. Those damn raiders, yes. The first of two secret maps. The worst of the two, but not a bad map in the slightest. That one area in the big wide open room with the, you know, the catwalk above you where all the raiders can easily see you, that part's a bit annoying and can be dangerous if you rush it. As a matter of fact, it'll be deadly if you rush it, but other than that, this map is quite fun. Has a few dangers that can uh, punish the unwary, the, the uh, blind and daredevils. But yeah, so... Did you enjoy riding this bike with training wheels? Because let me tell you right now, this next level, and all the levels after it, no more. It is two tires from here on out, not two tires and two training wheels. And you will see that in full force with this next map. It is a doozy. But it is very, very fun. And we finally will get to ride our motorcycle for more than just a few minutes. So, yeah, I'm sure you'll like it. But until that time comes, that was, or this rather, was Those Damn Raiders. Hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night. And I will see you for Map 4. So until that time comes, I will see you all when I see you. Bye-bye.